As the field operations manager, um, I'm the project manager for all of our sites that have moved into the O&M phase of the project life cycle. Um, so that includes ensuring all the HSEQ aspects of the project are looked after, uh, making sure all our projects are adequately resourced from labour and materials and equipment, and then also coordinating all the technical and, and process um, interventions that need to be deployed just to make sure our plants keep running smoothly and doing the job that they're commissioned to do. I think the thing that sets ECT2 apart from other water treatment providers is the fact that our investment in R&D in the early days really had sustainability as its guiding principle. So what this means in practice is that our systems have been designed um, with a view to minimising waste generation from the start. And I think this is really an ongoing challenge for the industry as a whole. And I think it's something that um, through our uh, heavy investment, we've really uh, developed some solutions that um, really address that challenge really effectively. So I think the thing that I enjoy most about working with ECT2 is that there's lots of scope to um, influence many areas of the business. So for example, when I started out as an operator, some of the challenges we encountered led to me being heavily involved with the R&D and process engineering teams to identify some practical and effective solutions to those challenges. And that was really exciting for me as a, as a new starter at the company. So I think the biggest challenge facing ECT2 and the emerging contaminants industry more generally is the um, evolving nature of the environmental and human health criteria uh, around the country and how those criteria are applied by the different uh, environmental regulators in the, in the states. But in that respect, I think ECT2 has a, a very strong and adaptable suite of technologies in our toolkit that we were able to deploy in the field. And in that respect, I think we are in, in good stead for the future.